come with me and a few members of my team on a weekend trip to Washington, D.C. We had a long day in the operating room, so we took a late night flight. We arrived at our room at about 11 o'clock, and the kitchen was already closed, so we had to get some to-go food. Between me, Maggie, and Jess, we did have three rooms reserved, but we decided to all sleep in the same room. And I guess because it went to bed so late, I snored all night. We got up the next morning at about 8 o'clock to get to the lab. Today, we had a full agenda about learning about some new items for surgery and my practice. Traveling is one way as a surgeon where you can learn about new technology, and I also use this opportunity to teach my staff about what I do in the operating room. Here's my medical assistant, Maggie, trying to break a rod, which we do all the time in the OR. She had a great time learning about what we did in the OR and how she can translate that into our practice and helping patients answer questions after surgery. It was a great experience for us all. We were done in the late afternoon, and we decided to go to the city so we can do some sightseeing. I mean, when you go to Washington, D.C., you've got to go to all the monuments and do all the things, correct? We took an Uber down to go to the Lincoln Memorial to start off, and we also went to the Washington Monument. It was a beautiful afternoon just to walk around and see all the things. It's been a really long time since I've been to D.C., and I forgot how beautiful our country really is. After we did some sightseeing, we went back to the hotel, changed, had dinner, and went out and had such a great night, and I somehow forgot to videotape all of it. We had an early flight out on Sunday, so we had to get to the airport super early. We grabbed some coffee and waited for our plane. I love spending time with my team, but I also love getting home and spending the rest of the day with my family. The dogs were super happy to see me.